We're good, Britt. Awesome. Also, the other thing that I'm loving about these is that, you know, I think there's something super valuable, valuable about hearing from people that have been in, that have reached the top. But sometimes when you're brand new, or not even if you're not brand new, but maybe you've gone through like a little dip in your business, there's something about hearing from people that maybe haven't reached the top, but when they start doing the things, they see success. So this is super exciting for me. Um, and this is kind of, this is how we're going to start using our Monday night work sessions, okay? We're going to spend about 30 minutes, and it probably won't even be that long tonight, but 30 minutes kind of interview style, getting some tips, getting some ideas, and then the last 30 minutes of actually doing a work session. Because what I can tell from you from experience, when I talk about the things, when I think about the things, my business and my check does not grow, okay? When I actually do things, um, that's when I sign new members, that's when I sign new customers, and when I, do, you know, we're paid not to learn the things, we're paid to do the things and enroll the people. So, Candice is going to be my girl tonight. I'm going to ask her some questions. She's going to tell her story, and I think that one of my favorite parts about her story is that she, I saw in a post the other day, she said two years, but if I looked at the dates, I think it was three years that it took her to join me after I asked and asked and asked and I got ignored and sometimes not ignored. Um, but like, I just couldn't let go the fact that I knew she'd be phenomenal at this business. So Candace, will you unmute yourself and kind of tell us your story? Hey guys, can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Okay. My name is Candace, um, and I actually joined the business, finally said yes to the business in March of 2018. Um, and like Brittany said, she thinks it's three years. It's, uh, it's a lot. It was a long time. Okay. It was a long time. Um, we are friends of friends, and that's how we met on social media, friends of friends from her husband. Um, and, you know, I, I saw her posts all the time, you know, they, something about those posts just like kept eye popping, just popping, catching. I just kept watching, just watching. Um, and, you know, she would message me. And like she said, sometimes I would answer, sometimes I would reply back. Sometimes I would skate around the question and ask about maybe a product that she talked about in a post. Um, but nevertheless, she always answered my question, you know, even though deep down she was like, okay, would you just join already because you know you're going to, it's just a matter of time. And in my head, like I knew that, but I just wasn't ready. Um, I can't explain the feeling, but I'm sure you felt that way for two minutes or months or weeks or however long it took you to join. So March of 2018. Um, but I finally said yes when um, she made a post that she was in Disney with her family. And I was actually at dinner with my husband. And I, it was literally a switch that went off in my head. And I said, that's it. I'm done. We've been talking about doing this. You know, we have, uh, I have, we have two girls. Um, and we talk about going to Disney all the time. And I was done. It was just a switch in my hand that flipped. I, I got to try this. Um, I used the wraps, um, I used the um, defining gel. So I was like, okay, well, what if I joined and I at least paid for those and maybe made just a little bit? Um, I would have been okay with that in the beginning. I had, I had expectations, like I wanted to do it, but if maybe if I just tried it. So, right, so that's how I felt in the beginning. Um, but I had, I had goals of wanting to make an income and bring, and come home to my girls. I wanted to be with them more. Um, I'm one that likes to do a couple things, like have my toe dipped in several different things. I like sports. Um, I love to dance. I'm now a dance instructor. So I, I like the freedom, freedom of owning my own time and deciding what I want to do with it. Um, so I joined in March of 2018. I went um, diamond a year ago. And then a little bit more about my story is I kind of, I don't know if you would call it fall off the wagon, um, but life throws you 50 different things at all the time. And I felt overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. Um, I didn't want to quit. I never wanted to quit. Never in this business since I've joined did I want to quit. I just didn't know how to do it. Um, I didn't know how to juggle them all. And 
I knew there were steps to take, like I needed to manage my time better. I needed to decide if I'm going to watch this show with my kids or um, message 10 people. And, you know, I could do those things. Like I could do those things, but I just need to manage my time better. And that's how I got off track. Um, and I'm kind of getting into the questions. So I guess that's just a little bit about my story. Um, I still work at um, a medical office two days a week. I'm a dance instructor. I teach 10 classes at a dance studio two nights a week. Um, and then I have two daughters. Um, I almost said I have a wife. I have a husband. I am a wife. Um, so I'm still busy. I'm still here. Um, and that's just a little bit of me. No, I love it. And I feel like I know what your answer will be, but if it's not like, don't just answer what you think I want to hear. I do want to know if this is true. Would you say that part of me being out there consistent on social media every single day, every single day, um, was part of the reason why you said yes? Oh, absolutely. At that time, you know, I think we all lack confidence in some way or another. But at that time, I was lacking confidence. I didn't have that. I didn't have that extra oomph that I needed. But seeing your posts and seeing you reaching out to me like, okay, maybe she did. Maybe I can do this. She does all the things that I do. You know, she has family. She has a life outside of it works. You know, maybe and yeah, it was constantly, I was constantly seeing that. Um, so that helped. Yeah, it did. It played a huge role in that because if, if you weren't doing those things, I probably would have broke that off for a while. You know, and that's one tip that I want to give you guys. I can't tell you the amount of people that I actually message me. Here's the, here's the kicker. And I'm going to give you a little tip for me. People, most of the time, I'm not saying always, but most of the time don't come to me. Most of the people that I sign, I plant that seed first, okay? Now, here's the funny part. The people, I would say half the people that do come to me, come to me saying, hey, so-and-so told me about the business. Now I'm thinking about doing it, but I want to join with you. Now, obviously, I never sign them. I send them back where they came from. But do you know, want to know why they tell me that? They say, because now that I'm ready, I want to join someone that takes it seriously. So that's another reason why it's not like posting that we get paid to post. No, that's not it. It's not that we get paid to put stories up. It's not that you get paid to do the products. It's not, you, it's not that we actually get paid to do the tasks, but it's doing those tasks that put that full puzzle together. And then when someone's ready to say yes, because like Candace just said, the Candace that said yes isn't the confident Candace that you're hearing from now. The Brittany that said yes isn't the confident Brittany that you're seeing now. So when I said yes, um, you know, Alyssa reached out to me, but a lot of you don't know this story. It's actually a, uh, a girl that I met through my ex-husband sent me a message three months later. Her name was Kelly. And you know what she said to me? Hey, I think you'd be good at this business because I know you'd do anything for Ty. But here's what was funny. She planted that separate seed. But what I do, I thought to myself, okay, you're right. I would do anything for Ty. So maybe I do need to look in this business. And then I went to the one that one planted the seed first, but because Alyssa was all in. I don't think I would have gone back to Alyssa, if that makes sense. I would have gone to the person that I think was all in. So let me ask you, Candace, now that we know that, you know, part of you saying yes, like it wasn't right away. And I love that part because I didn't say right. I didn't say yes right away too. Yes, you have a very, very busy life. Um, even though now you are working part time, you're a full time mom, full time wife. And you said dance instructor, but you didn't say how many classes you're teaching. It's a lot, right? So what would you say that when, because you even noticed, you said you tell, you can tell a difference when you're all in versus when you're not all in. And when you're all in, your enrollments go up. That's one thing. When Candace shows up, her enrollments go up. And I can even tell, I know what Candace is doing by her enrollments because when she does the things, she's an enrolling machine. 
So when you do the things, what would you say, Candace, are your non-negotiables? Because some of our task lists, they, yes, they need to be done, but there are probably some things that need to be more done than others. And I think sometimes what people do is they do the easy things. So if they look at the tax task list and they're like, okay, I'm going to make a post and I'm going to add in my story because that's easy. So what would you say are the non-negotiables when you know you want to be an enrolling machine? Yeah. So the, the top three, and they have always seen, it, it just always happens this way, posting. That sounds simple, but like I said, I'm busy like all the time. And I would just get to a point where I was just so busy. I just got overwhelmed and I thought, well, okay, well, it's already 11 o'clock. I'm not going to make a post. Well, it's, I got to run out the door and I've got 10 bags in my arms and I got to drop them off at school and well, I already made my coffee. So what am I going to do now? I don't even know what I'm going to post about. So I would just get in, I would just get in my head. I would get overwhelmed and I just wouldn't do it. Um, so posting is big. I have to post two to three times a day is what I shoot for. Um, Follow-ups. Um, those of what I've always done since I've joined, but I slack off. I can tell when I slack off or I can tell when I don't write that person's name down in my calendar or on my uh, three subject binder here. If I don't write their name down when they said, no, I think Thursday works. Um, you know, I should be able to sign up on Thursday. If I don't write that name down, it's gone. I forget it. Um, so follow-ups, I have to follow up and then host the post, host the post, host the post, post the post, whether I get two out a day or five a day, or, you know, I shoot for 20 a week. I don't even shoot for a number anymore. Um, I just know that in my head, I have to get them out because host to post, I'm adding to my network by doing that. Um, I'm making, you know, new friends. So they're constantly seeing my posts and what I'm posting about. So that all goes together. If I'm posting the people that I'm adding to my network from the host to post, you know, they're seeing that. Um, so if they comment or if they're constantly watching my stories now because they're new friends that I'm going to follow up with them um, with, you know, a variety of different messages. So three things, posting, follow-ups, and host to post are things that I have to do. I love that so much. And one of the things that if I'm going to be honest and real with you, one thing I don't love about host to post is that it can get overwhelming. But if, if you get overwhelming, it means that that's a lot of people interacting. So it's like changing our mindset to like, not, it's not a negative thing, people. It's a positive thing. But I'd be lying if yeah. I ever said that I don't make a post sometime and all of a sudden I have 200 people that want to post for me. And then I have those, like, it just gets crazy. Right. Um, right. But here's what, like Candace just said, What's fun is that is one task that ends up taking care of almost three of your tasks for the day. Because with host to post, it adds to your network. It usually makes a post for you today and it takes care of some of your messaging. And so one thing that mm -hmm. I love about host to post is, <coughs> sorry guys, am I cold messaging right now for distributors? Yes, I'll be honest. You could look at my phone right now and since January 1st, that's what I'm doing. But I'm in a mindset that like what I'm trying to pull off, I'm not waiting for anybody, right? But for some of you that are like, oh, I don't want to talk to new people, then I highly recommend you do host to post because the awesome thing about host to post is yes, you're still having converse with strangers most of the time, but at least the, they're strangers that want to hear from you, right? And so for some of you, that takes the scary part away. At least you know you're messaging someone that wants to hear from you. Now I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna ask you some questions back and forth, okay? But one thing I wanna talk about first is, and I can only see so many of you, so those of you that I can't see, you're just gonna have to mentally answer. How many of you don't feel confident when you're typing out your story? Is there anyone out here that like, you don't even know how to, how to tell your story? Okay, if, I, if there's anyone that's not answering that you really are like, no, I'm scared, I just don't wanna raise my hand or my, or my video's off, here's what I want you to do. You always ask yourself three questions. Why did I say yes? What's happened so far? And where am I headed? Can someone, Trista, can you type that into the chat? So why did I say yes? 
what's happened so far and where am I, where am I headed? When you're brand new, you said yes because you're tired of struggling or you said yes. What's happened so far is you're working towards your first goal of getting your first four customers. And what you're excited about is once you get those customers, you get $100 of free product. That could be your story when you're brand new. Here's what's fun. Every week that passes, your story should change if you're working this business. Because why you said yes may stay the same, but what has you accomplished should have changed and where you're headed should change if you grow your mind. Here's the other thing, and I'm gonna be extremely honest with you. In 2020, I had to implement a business plan because I noticed two things. One, I noticed that I stopped talking about what the money was doing for me. And it wasn't, like I would say like, I love that I got to retire myself and stay home and work from wherever. But I wasn't saying what was the money buying. And so for those of you that follow me last week, I made a post where literally I was just holding a baseball like this. And I wouldn't have made that post if my business I honestly it got like to the day and I was like crocking checking them off cross them off and it was like money post I'm like oh what am I gonna make and then it dawned on me that day guys I had to pay a thousand dollars out of my money to let Ty play baseball if it were not for it works he would not be playing this travel baseball team okay so what was funny is having showing them that not only is it the money, it's making them feel something, right? When you show them like, oh, look what I bought, that doesn't make them feel anything. But when you can connect to someone and say, I don't know about you, but if it were not for this, I would have had to say no to these things. He'd have been playing league. That made some mamas out there feel something, okay? Now, there's a reason why I'm talking about this right now. Candace said, that one thing she likes about host to post is that host to post allows her to add to her network. If I'm going to be honest with you, one of the reasons why I stopped telling my story is because I felt silly because I felt like everyone already knows that Brittany's been successful with it works. No, if I was adding to my network, there are constantly new people that doesn't, that don't, they, they don't know the old Brittany. They don't know the broken single mom Brittany, right? It's my job to tell them. And so that's what I want you guys to kind of get over. Like, we honestly should be telling our story. One of the things Brittany Hayes talks about is she says, and she's one of the top enrollers, she says she tells her story once a day, every single day, every day, just in a different way. Okay. So just, and that comes back to your pillars. And so, okay, um, Candace, my question for you. Um, when it comes to this, you know, host to post or whatever. What would you say if we're gonna be like honest with ourselves? You kind of mentioned that sometimes you do all the things, sometimes you don't do all the things. But one thing I can say from the outside looking in is some people on here or even not on here, they always tell themselves, okay, when I'm not working so much, I'm gonna go all in with this business. Or, okay, when I have the free time, I'm gonna go all in. Or when I have a day off on Wednesday, I'm gonna get all my stuff done. But reality is, something else will pop up, something else will happen. One thing I can say with your schedule is, nothing really has changed other than you're still busy. You're still just as busy as you were when you weren't doing the things versus when you are doing the things. What have you done to keep your mind wanting to do those things? What do you feel like, like what keeps you close to the fire? What keeps that fire burning? Lots of things. It's definitely all in my head. And that's what held me back for so long. It was just all in my head. Um, it's not about all about being organized and it's not all about just being organized. I had to get my mind right. Um, and I started doing self-development a lot more because I put that on the back burner every day. Like, I just put it on the back burner. Um, I would just literally look at the task and be like, yep, did that. Yep, did that. Message, yep, add to my network, yep, posted, self development, yep. Uh, wait a minute. No, I didn't do that. And that's what really, really helped me get my mind right. Once I started doing that, 
it sounds like for the longest time, I'm like, yeah, self-development, maybe it's not, it's not that great. Like what, what do you mean self-development? You know, that's a, those are two huge words. Little did I know watching one podcast or listening to one podcast, watching one self-development video on YouTube, that's 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Wow. That gets my mind right for a week. Now that doesn't mean I do it once a week, but I am like zoned in just because of what it brings out in you. It's, you know, pulling all this goodness out of you and bringing it out and giving you the confidence to do what you want to do and remembering your why. That's another thing. Remembering my why I didn't join to quit. I didn't join to just hang out and listen to zooms and, you know, watch what everybody else was doing. I didn't do that. So I constantly have to tell myself, why did you join? You have to do all the things every single day. And for the last two weeks, I've been staying up until midnight. Um, it's kind of like a routine for me. Um, you know, some people, and I've had some people on my team say, you know, I can't stay up till midnight. I got to get up at 5 a.m. Well, you know, maybe you don't stay up till midnight every night. I'm not sure. But you just have to you have to figure out a way to do all the things. Maybe you don't add 20 people to your network that day. Maybe you add five. Maybe the next day you add 25. Um, I don't know what that looks like for you, but it's important to figure out what works for you that includes all of the things. You have to do all of the things. And that's why, um, you know, that's why my enrollments go up because I know in my head what I have to do. And I've always known what I've had to do. There's no, there's never been any secret. There's no been, you know, there's nothing hidden. I've always known. I've just, I have to get over that. I have to get over, you know, that I'm busy and, you know, this time isn't just going to pop out of nowhere and be like, here you go. Here's an hour. You know, you can do all the things now. I have to just do it. Um, and I, you know, some days, you know, on the days that I work at the, at the um, doctor's office on Wednesdays and Thursdays, you know, I'm up at 530 and I don't get home till six or 630 at night. So, you know, the day before I'm thinking about what I'm going to post about, um, you know, my, my coffee post in the morning, how am I going to word that? Do I have stories lined up for those days? No, maybe I need to make some tonight. So that for the next two days, I don't have to do that. Um, you know, what am I going to post about in the evening time? What's going on? What are we having for dinner? How is that going to tie in? So, you know, those couple days before that, that I know that I'm going to be busy for 12 plus hours during the day. Um, I, I plan out as much as possible, um, so that I'm prepared for that. So, um, it's doing all the things all the time. Um, whether some days I have to cut that down and I only make two posts that day, I'm making sure that the two posts are counted. Like there, I'm talking about something important. I'm making it a post to where someone sees it and it's catching. Um, I'm making the posts where um, they're going to interact back with me. Um, if I'm sending out host to posts and I know that I have a couple up, I'm making sure that my stories have to do with that host to post. I'm making sure that um, I'm talking about my story if I'm adding to my network. So, you know, I'm just making sure that I'm doing all the things every single day. No, I love that. And one thing that I wanted to talk about, like, and I'll just say like my personal team, but I'm sure you guys will all probably, um, resonate with like this will resonate with you I can tell what certain people are working versus not working because when they are I hear from them a lot and when they're not they disappear because they don't like they, they have nothing to talk to me about and they don't want to admit they're not doing the things right mm -hmm. so ask so ask yourself to all of you individually do you find that you're the same way right like when you're doing all the things and you're having conversations and you have people that are like answering you back. They're asking for information. Don't you just want to like go to your upline or go to your sideline and be like, Oh my gosh, I'm having good conversations. I'm excited. But when you don't have those, you're yeah. like, I don't really want someone to ask me because I'm not doing all the things. So I know I don't have, like, I don't have anything to tell them. <laughs> and so that was one thing. Is like, yeah, I told myself this year in 2020 that I was going to be a better leader for all of you guys. Like at, when it came to telling you what I'm doing and coaching you through how to do it, 
but I was also going to do a better job of rising leaders, pulling them up and saying, no girl, you go do this. Cause I got to build my own business too. Right. And so what I'm finding is so many people, people are rising to the top because every single one of you is one worthy of speaking on one of these calls. And one day, every single one of you should be hosting your own call, interviewing someone from your team. And I promise you, promise you when you start to do those things, you will notice a difference. And I promise you when I had to talk on my own first own call, um, I was just a Ruby. And back in the day, they weren't like this, that you literally called in on a conference line. And so you couldn't see anybody <laughs> and you couldn't even, you didn't even know how many people were on, but you could ask each other questions. And Alyssa would be like, so what did you do today for your business that helped you enroll customers? Like it was the most awkward thing. And I was shaking, <laughs> I was blotchy, I was shaking, like it was a hot mess. But it's like kind of like riding a bike. No one is born and knows how to ride a bike, right? But with practice, you learn. It's this this business is the same way, guys. And for those of you that didn't that didn't um, catch our Motivation Monday video, I keep highlighting Atomic Habits. I can't tell you how life um, like it's 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 like transformed my whole life, and I'm not even halfway through it yet. And one thing it talks about is some of us are so busy making sure we have the right answer with the right words and the right responses with the right posts and the right wording for the post and the right pictures that we end up like Candace said, being like, you know, I got 10 bags. I just can't do it right now. You like, we just have to act in the book. They talk about motion and action. Motion is making a plan, thinking about it, reading the books, doing the zoom taking action will actually get you results. And so that's what this is kind of going to feed right into host to post. So many people don't do host to post because they don't know, they don't know what kind of post to make to get comments. They don't know what kind of picture to use to get comments, or they don't know what, they don't know what wording to use. When someone says they'll make a post, they, they want to, what wording are you using? Well, first of all, what we've come to find out is when we all use the same wording, that's what's made host to post not work. Host to post is still working. So mm -hmm. here's the thing. You, we just have to understand that it's never failing. You're never failing if one, if you don't give up and you remember to fall forward, fail forward, don't fall back. Okay. So Candace, Mm -hmm. I will be honest and, and tell you that I started listening to the lies that like post to post wasn't working. Okay. Post to post is honestly what helped me enroll over 5,000 in volume to go ambassador this year. So I signed some customers in February or distributors in February. I enrolled a ton of volume in March. I went ambassador. And then in April is when people started saying that host to post wasn't working. So I stopped using it. Guys, it just helped me go ambassador. What do you mean it wasn't working? But here was the problem. When I stopped doing it, I stopped enrolling the way that I was. Was I still enrolling some when I would post my before and after? Yeah, because I'm a product of a product but host to post is still working. So Candace, I want to hear from you because there's multiple ways to do host to post. You can make a post yeah. about ice cream and have people comment. You can message people and ask them to do it. So how do you personally do host to post? What I seem to get the most interaction or response from is actually making a post. Um, something that catches someone's eye, you know, doing the, the comment your favorite ice cream or comment your favorite cereal. Those are good, but I try not to do those all the time. Um, I find like something where I'm at Target and I'm holding the two gift cards and I make like, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit, you know, sometimes you have to have like a really good eye popping picture. Um, so if you got to go to Target and grab a gift card and hold it up and you got a cute outfit on to make that, you go for it. Because the host of post drawing that I did uh, three weeks ish ago, um, about a month ago, I took that picture last year around Christmas time when I was sitting on the little chair over by the nursery stuff and I'm holding two gift cards. I took that last year and I used it for this year. So I try, um, I get a lot of good responses if I make the post saying that I'm giving the, giving it away. Um, that I'm giving it away, that I'm doing the giveaway. Um, that's when I get the most responses, but I do, I, 
I will also message and ask if they'll make a post for me. Um, I really can't say that it's copy and paste, copy and paste. Hey, I'm doing a giveaway. Will you make a post for me? Um, I, what I've been doing lately, and this is in all aspects, is kind of individually individualizing every conversation that I'm having. Um, and you would think that that would take a lot longer, but it's actually making it much easier because they respond because they're like, oh, I haven't heard that before. Or, oh, yep, she's normal. So, um, you know, if I'm talking to them about a product or just talking to them about something else, then I'll say, then I'll ask them to make the post for me. So I can't really say that there's this one message that I use because, you know, I go to my stories and whoever's doing my stories, every single person I'm, I'm asking them, I'm asking them to do, you know, one of a few things. I'm asking them to make a post for me. Um, a lot of times I've already talked to them about the product or the business. So I'm following up with them. Um, so yeah, I would say the thing that gives the most interaction is the host to post. Now I do have a quick story. Um, the distributor that I signed this month, this month was, um, was from a host of post. It was from a hair, skin, and nails host of post. And I'm telling you what, hair, skin, and nails works so well for me. I'm telling you, if you put that word mermaid challenge in there, these girls are just flocking to you and they're like, oh yes, girl, I want to do, I want to be that model for you. So hair, skin, and nails is working really well for me. And then of course, Thermofy X coffee and chocolate, chocolate greens always work well, just a weight loss combo. But anyway, the hair, skin, and nails um, host to post. She actually commented on a host to post. Um, I messaged her, letting her know, you know, how much it was. Explain the mermaid challenge, the three months. Um, she asked for some before and afters. I sent those to her, and this is a really quick conversation. I mean, she's responding real back really quickly. Um, and then she said, um, "Well, how much is it again?" And I had just told her, but sure, I'll tell you again. It's thirty-six dollars a month. Blah 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 blah. And she said. 36 is a lot for me right now because I'm currently a broke college student, but I will definitely consider what? Okay. And my response was, okay, I understand. And I actually didn't even go into the business at that point. I wrote her name down and it was actually maybe three or four days later, she saw an opportunity post that um, I actually posted to my stories and it was one of the only times, I think I've done this two or three times and I, yeah, I'm still kicking myself in the butt for it. Um, one of the only few times that I added my phone number to the story. Um, so it was something, um, you know, I talked about the business and how I was now hire, now hiring for social media marketers. And then on the last slide, it said text opportunity to, and then I put my phone number. Well, she texts me and I didn't realize it was her, but once I got her name and I went back to our conversation, you know, oh yeah, she just said she was a broke college student and she couldn't afford $36. She joined a couple hours later after me telling her, you know, what it all entailed. And I added her to the VIP access group, which is amazing, by the way, that you guys are doing that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then after that, I told her my story and then she joined. So that one distributor that I signed was from a hair, skin and nails post to post. So you never know, you can't count someone out without asking them. And it was funny because I didn't even ask her, which usually it's the other way around. So um, yeah, that's my story about the host of us. Yeah, I love, and I guess what I want you guys to see is that there's a system here. A lot of people feel like this is time consuming. This is like, will take all day to be successful. No. If you are efficient, and this is what I, I, I had a come to Jesus moment for myself, right? Cause I made a phone call to Alyssa a couple months ago and I was like, I don't know how I can do this. Like by the time I answer my team's text messages all day long and meet with everyone that wants a one-on-one, -on -one, nothing wrong with you. So if you, if you text me all the time, if you want one-on-ones, like don't, I'm not, I'm not saying anything wrong, right? I'm not saying anything wrong. So keep doing it, everyone. But I was like, I don't know how I can do this for hundreds of people and then still have time to do all my things. And then mm -hmm. Alyssa was very open and honest with me. She was like, you've done this to yourself. You have to start managing your time better. No one gets your time until you take care of your stuff first. And it was like an aha moment of like, oh my goodness, like she's so right. But here's what I've also found. I'm on my phone less now 
than I probably have been in the last two years because I'm finally like just looking at as I'm telling myself, even though this isn't true, I'm acting literally when I have my task list, I tell myself, Brittany, you, you're getting paid to complete this list. You're not getting paid to see if they say yes. You're just getting paid to complete this list. And what's funny is in turn, I'm getting paid because people are starting to say yes, because I'm being consistent, right? But what I wanted to tell you is we finally have a very simple system in place, okay? If you do host to post for the business, you get people interested, they go in our potential page. Once they're in their potential page, this is actually Candace's idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell her, tell everyone what she told me. One thing she's been doing, which I love it, is when they go in the potential page, how she follows up with them is like, hey, were you able to watch the videos? Because I want to share my story with you now. And then she's letting them know her story. It's like an aha moment. And then what's fun is, like that whole follow up, it takes the pressure off you guys because of that potential page. So what I want you to understand is all the pieces of the puzzle are there, figure out how it works for you, okay? Um, I think that is it, and I kind of want to get into a work session. Um, what's your biggest tip with host to post if you had to say, like, oh, I know what I was gonna ask you, sorry, back up. Would you say that you have a lot of host to posts go flat and get zero comments? I have some, mm -hmm. yeah. At that point, I, I just make sure that I get another one out that's getting some interaction. Um, and I will say that if I don't get any on there, you know, sometimes I'm loving that post or sometimes I'm putting in there, you know, a before and after like a couple hours later if there's nothing on there. So yeah, it definitely does happen. You know, you'll have people that don't, that don't comment or don't like it, but that's totally fine. You just have to keep going, you know, it just in your mind, it's a total mind thing. You have to, you have to stay focused. You have to get it done. You just have to get it done. I feel like I raise my voice. Like when I'm telling some of these things, cause I'm literally, I've literally told myself this for a few weeks now. Like I've had to tell myself that and it's totally normal. Um, but it's just, you just have to do all the things. Absolutely. <laughs> I had to, I had to calm myself down. Got to do the things. <laughs> no, I, I'm the same way. I get like super passionate about this and it's just because like one, I know what to do. So that's why oftentimes like people like when I'm not doing the things, you'll never hear me complain because I know it's me. Because when I do yeah. the things, my business explodes. It's like, duh, whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, so what we're gonna yeah. do is we're gonna take this last 20 minutes and we're actually going to work. So I'm gonna give you a couple ideas of how you can do this. Are you guys ready for this? If you guys don't do this, it's not gonna work. Okay, so news flashed, mic drop right there. Like if you don't do the things, none of this works. I hope you guys knew that's how this worked, okay? Because sometimes I think people get on the trainings, they hear the things, they don't do the things, and then they want to call some their upline and say it's not working. No, it does work. So we have a couple options. If you have not made a post, you can make a post about the, like recently, you can make a post about the giveaway. If you have made a post recently and you don't want to make another one right now, I want you to go to, go to your messages if you go to the green light or you can go to the messages and see who's online right now, I want you to ask five people if they will make a post for you. Okay. I'm going to find the message because I usually don't do it like this. I just make my post, but I'm going to find you a message and I'm going to drop it for you in the comments of, um, Trista's post that she made in our team. Actually, no, because not everyone has the same page. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put it over here in the, in the comment section. Hey, Britt, what day is the giveaway, the 18th? So it's Sunday. So now that we're on track, it will always be, I'm going to try to do them on every single Sunday. Perfect. But I launched the first one before I'd actually collected $150. So that I just kind of like guessed at. And then now that we, I knew we had enough for 200 and then um, I'm going to go count the pot and see what's left. I'm hoping that it will, we can do them every single Sunday. Oh, while I have you guys on here. So we're also doing those differently. It won't be me going live on the page for a couple reasons. One, 
Um, some of you were probably like, I don't like sharing a video that someone else is doing, right? And then my people never win, it looks weird. Well, I'm gonna go the other side of that. I hate in doing them because my people that I put in there never won. So I was using my social media page, like I was using that as one of my posts for the day. And I'm like, I don't even wanna do the drawing. So what I love about the way we're doing it now is it's a video that has no one's face in it, has no one's hands in it, and coming up this time will actually um, not even have, you know how this time, if you guys saw it, it like showed everyone putting the entries in. This time it's not going to show names. It'll just show the names of the people that are entered. But by the time I realized that's how Claire does it, she has everyone, I guess everyone has access to a Google document. Oh, oh. Tribute. <laughs> I'm going to mute everyone real quick. Um, she has, everyone has access to a Google document and then they just enter it in. But I don't know how to do that. So right now we're not doing that. Um, but it, it's going to get, it, the, I'll, I'll get better at figuring that out. But what I like about it is it looks like you did the drawing. Okay. Um, and I know some of you, like some of you have branched off and do your own giveaways. That's perfect. If you ever want to get like not do the big ones that we do and chip in the $20 for that, but maybe you want to do a smaller amount, that's okay. The only thing that I do want to let you know, every day I'm putting those tasks in the, in the chats or in the team page, just know you can't just copy and paste the scripts at the bottom because some of them say I'm giving away 200 this Sunday. Well, if you're not giving away 200 this Sunday, it's going to look weird. So just make sure you edit it and put what you're giving away. Maybe you're giving away a bag of coffee. Maybe you want to do your own giveaway, right? Like, just be smart about it and read what, we, read what you put in there. All right, guys, so there's kind of a sample message. It says, hey, I have a quick question. Would you be willing to do me a favor and make a post on your page for me? You don't have to do any of the work. Just copy and paste, and I'll take care of the rest. I'm trying to help my team hit some goals. Then what I meant to add, but I hit the wrong button because I'm not used to typing on this small keyboard, um, is, and um, for doing it for me, we're doing a giveaway, and I'll add your name into the entry. We're giving away $200 on Sunday. Like, put that in there. Okay, back in the day, I used to say, hey, I have a question. And then they would answer, and then I'd do that. Reality is, I'm trying to be more efficient, and I really don't want to have to ask, and I'm not saying, if this doesn't work for you, some people get, I used to get better results saying, hey, I have a question, then when they responded, then putting it out there. For me, I'm just trying to get them out there, so I don't want to have 100 different conversations going. My, my question is, will you help me? If not, I got to go to the next person. So let's send that to at least five people right now. Okay, here's what I want to say. I'm going to give you two tips. Yes, we're giving you host to post ideas. Yes, they're in the team page. 
But what you're going to find is that if you use some that other people are using, <coughs> they will not get as good of re results. Okay. So for me, I just try to like make my own up. Um, but what I find that's easier is I'm going to speak to those of you that have personal results. If you have personal results with any of the products, personally, I would probably do a host to post that has to do with what you love because it's easier to promote something that you like. So maybe it's collagen, maybe it's hair, skin and nails, maybe it's TFX, maybe it's a triple threat. Now, now I'm going to speak to, you, to those of you that don't have your own results yet because you're working on them, right? Right? Like we all, I know you're all working on your next before and after. If you don't have a before and after yet, I want you to go to someone in the team that you personally know. And I want you to pick a product based on what you would be interested in. Because if you're brand new and you don't have results yet, this is something I did. 100%, this is what I did. Post to post wasn't a thing, but messaging for loyal customers was. So it was really no different. Back in the day, I was messaging for loyal customers, okay? I would say, hey, I have some product tester spots, product model spots. Would you be interested in trying anything? Here's a list that I have. This is personally what I've ordered because I love my friend's results. And then I sent one of the girls, actually wasn't Alyssa because she didn't have her own results at the time of the hair, skin, and nail supplement, but someone else that I personally knew did, which is what made me think about the business. Does that make sense? When they can see a picture that is either yours or you can say, I'm working on getting my results. This is what I've ordered or this is what I'm currently taking, but here's a friend of mine results. Before and afters will sell the products and the business. Okay. Here's another idea. Um, this is what I've been doing. And what's crazy is so far, four people have messaged me, um, text me. And I don't know. I mean, I don't, I didn't know who they were. I'm like, who is this? And they're literally just texting me money because it was a host of posts that I did, but I'm also keeping track of the posts and I, I'm going to show it to you what it looks like. And I got the idea from Trista, so I didn't make this up on my own. But I just did like it differently. I don't even know if you guys can see this. It's a picture of me. Can you guys see that at all? It's a picture of me. At the top, it says extra income opportunity. At the bottom, it says work for anywhere, text money, and then to my phone number. So personally for me, I always do two host to post. One for business one for product. The product, I, I personally choose products that I like and that I'm using. It's easier to promote. And then for the business, right now I'm trying this. Sometimes if that starts not getting hits, I'll just have them make a post, right? You just have to be willing to try different things, but also the other side of this, which I think is really important is don't try something for two or three days and say it didn't work, right? probably someone didn't post for two or three days and you join and be like, yep, I want to do the business with you. No, it took a little more consistency. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is here's what's fun about the business opportunity. If you make some business opportunity, it's super simple. Awesome. I can't wait to tell you more for the people that are texting me. that don't know who, who they're saying, who is this? Are you on Facebook or Instagram? I want to add you because I wanted to add you to a page that, is, that are three simple videos for you to watch. You don't even have to have the conversation. We'll have the conversation for you. Then your follow up can be your conversation, right? Cause you have to leave them with wanting to ask them something, right? And then what, here's what's super fun. When it comes to conversation, I feel like a lot of people always want to know what to say with the product. But oftentimes it's because the belief in the product isn't there for you. So once you have the belief, you don't have to ask anyone what to say. There's nothing wrong with asking us, but what you're going to find is for me, I don't need to ask Alyssa what to say for the triple threat because mama loves a triple threat. Like that's how I've gotten all my results. Right. Yeah. And so then it's just, um, having a heart to heart conversation with them. This is what I love. 
this is how I take it. Normally it's this price retail, but by becoming a customer and doing the 90 day challenge, I can give it to you for this. How's that sound? It's that simple. So, um, <coughs> we have like seven minutes left. <clears throat> what I really want us to do is just do the, do the things, but I also want to kind of say, first of all, thank you guys for getting on. I know there's other things we could be doing. I get that. I just got home from my workout class that I taught. That's why I look like a hot mess. But does anyone have any questions for me? And here's the deal. If you don't feel confident unmuting yourself and asking me, type it in the chat. Sometimes we don't know what to, what, we don't know what to teach on because we don't know what you don't know. So is there anything that you have questions on about how host to post works? While you're waiting on a question, I have something real quick that um, helps me stay stu super organized. Um, if you don't have a one subject, three subject, you know, notebook, get one. Um, and this is how I'll even show you how I do my host to post. I break up the page into four sections. Okay, these are people who have done a product host to post. So for these, they're hair, skin, and nails, okay? And see, as you can see, like these two were hot and heavy, and these two had none. But this helps me so much with my follow-ups before I have a chance to add them into Connect. Um, it helps a ton with following up with them. And I mean, you'll have that. See, look, I have a page here. These two, blank, because they didn't have any comments. These two, you know, they had a couple. So uh, get you a three ring binder. It'll, it'll help you. You can take that around with you everywhere you go. That and your chart goes everywhere <laughs> for me. I love that. We had a question. It says, can current loyal customers do host to post or is it any one? Is it just for non-customers? Actually having customers do host to post for you, phenomenal because they can say, this is what I'm using and this is what I like. I would say they're, they're the best people to do host to post for you. So yeah, absolutely. Go hit that hard. Um, for those of you that haven't seen our contest that I'm doing now, I will say some of you are not in the team page. So if you're not, it's okay. Your team will probably be doing other things. We have a phenomenal, I have a phenomenal contest going right now for existing customers. Okay. It's allowing you to, um, I'm going to be giving 10, full size products away for any old or existing customer that places a separate order. So it can't be their auto shipment. And so pretty much like if you have someone that hasn't ordered for six months, say, Hey, we're doing a giveaway. If you place an order this month, I can add you into a drawing. Okay. If you are not in my team page, that's okay. Come up, come up with fun, something fun on your own. Maybe you have a, um, an extra bottle of, X, Y, and Z, or maybe you have an extra bag of X, Y, and Z. Invest it in your business, message all of your customers and say, hey, I'm giving a, a free bag of coffee away. Okay, if anyone that places an order, your name will go in a drawing. Sometimes you'll be surprised. Here's the other thing, and actually Tristan, this is actually something that we should either do soon or have a pop-up, this is up to you because I want your opinion on it, but it is a crucial, crucial that all of you know how to use Connect before conference. Crucial. Cami said this to Trista recently and a few, like two months ago, well, three, two or three months ago when I finally started using it, I was on like a call with quite a few people and she said, if you do not know how to use Connect when we release what we're release, releasing at conference, you will be behind. And here's what I will tell you. I put it off, I put it off, I put it off. And to be honest, it's extremely easy. I don't even know if I use it for all the functions that it's for, but all I know is that I figured out enough that um, it doesn't take me very long. Like I. I touched base with a couple of my team, uh, distributors today. And what was fun is I picked who I wanted to message, but the same message went out to this group of people. And then what was fun was it was literally, how are things going? Are you liking the tasks in the team page? 
Some of them responded, some of them didn't. And then obviously I haven't been home. So some of them I, I've been able to have conversations and some of them I still have here before I get a bed, I'm going to respond. But connect literally made it like this for me because you know, what's important. What's important is reaching your goals, spending time with your family and helping other people. Connect has made it possible to have a life and to work this business. I wish we would have had connect when I was a single mom working 50 hours a week. This is a game changer. And here's, um, do you guys ever find that sometimes you, you feel not that this is legit, but you feel like you don't have confidence to promote this business because you know the work that it takes. Let's be honest. You feel like sometimes you're like, man, I just feel like I don't even know if I can tell someone that this is easy because yes, the tasks are easy, but they've got to be willing to do the work. So I just don't even want to tell them. I got in a little slump like that. Do you know what got me out of that slump? Realizing that there was connect to do all the work. It's easy now. Connect. This isn't, this doesn't have to take a long time. As long as you do the um, organization on the front end, connect. Literally, I followed up with 400 customers today in a total of like 12 minutes. That would have taken me, honestly, it would have taken me all of January to message those people if I was planning on feeding my kids those days. Like it would have never happened. Um, yes, it's so easy, Gwen. I'm glad that you, like, that's the thing is like for me, I was just being naive and I wouldn't even like, cause here's the thing with another thing, shout out to atomic habits. It talks about like with my personality, I'm someone that like, if I don't know how to do it a hundred percent, I don't do it at all. But that's really like the worst that we can be. You don't have to know it all. You just have to do something. And what I'm finding is by when I just said to myself, okay, I'm just going to see if I can send a distributor a message. And then I'm like, Oh, that, well, that was way easy. Now I can send 50 distributors a message. Does anyone else have any other? Yep. Game changer. I love that everyone's like everyone that's taken the chance to do it. It's actually really easy. I had to laugh. I went to a friend's house today, actually, I don't know if she's on here or not, but I like, I showed her what I wanted to show her and she's like, okay, so what else do you want to show me? I was like, no, that was it. She goes, that was it. I go, no, that's how simple it was. She's like, oh my gosh. She said, I spent four hours. Um, I think it was last month when they did that promotion or whatever. Anyway, she sent a message to all our customers. She said she spent four hours. She said that would have taken me like eight minutes. I was like, I know the company has our backs and that's, what's exciting. And if you guys knew what's coming at conference, cause I know a couple of the things <laughs> it's insane guys. It's insane. <laughs> all right. Anyone else? No, 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 no. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Here's the thing. The tasks are there every single day. I'm doing my part by putting them out there, but I cannot grab your phone and do them for you. No one can do that. Alyssa didn't do the work for me, but she definitely led the way and told me what to do. There is no reason why you cannot accomplish whatever you want to accomplish in 2020 if you'll just do the things. And I'm just super excited because I can already see like once I got my, hope no kids are like, once I got my head out of my rear and started like questioning if I could do this and like, do I do this or do I do this and just start doing the things, my potential list is growing like crazy. So thank you guys for being on. If you need me, let me know. Oh, real quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One more thing. Don't forget opportunity events. These are every Monday opportunity events are Wednesday. If you don't do the things, opportunity events don't work. But if you do the things come Wednesday, all you got to do is click share, click host watch party. It'll show up on your page and then you can see who joins and see who's interested. Okay, now I'm really done.